Hi guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys my new house tour. Here's my sister's room. I think say hey. I think I got this on film. Okay. Life in the new house has been amazing. Now that we're out of our old house, no more negative energy. It's like now it's just positive vibes and I really like it. Hi Panko, hi Tita. So we're outside right now. And you're taking a picture of your Tita's butt? No. Oh, it's a homemade one. Thank oh my God, I love it. Look, Alina, come in guys. <laughs> Finally, we're in our new house and it's the best decision we've ever made. I'm just so much happier right now. Like, I'm so excited to have everybody come over and see the house and just have family time. Hi, Hi. I'm excited to have everybody at the house today because I know we're crazy and I miss everybody. It's gonna be fun. So I went all out today and I got the balloon wall, got some cookies with our name on it, and I thought it was just such a cute little touch. We don't have any furniture yet. I just wanted to get rid of everything that reminded me of the old house. I'm kind of regretting it now because we have people over and we have no living room set, no dining room. We'll make it work. Thank you guys for joining us today. Welcome to our casa. Wow. The Padilla house. Cute. Oh, finally yeah. see that. Our house is your house and I hope that we can make a bunch of memories together and this is the start of something fun and new which is our home so babe oh thank you guys for being here with all you guys obviously this wouldn't be possible we appreciate you guys yeah let's grow let's up man. I'm eat. lily made the salsa just so you guys know everything else is rafa's market yes i made the little dessert no you didn't that one has a car too oh you want to eat okay you guys do the tortillas because me and lily are not in charge of that bye So are you guys happy to finally have your own bedroom and not have to share? Yes. Do you, I feel like you miss Eileen. No, no she misses me. <laughs> Do you? A little bit. But I like it, I get my privacy. But this bitch still bar like barges in my room. Finally, I have my own room. I don't share with Alina anymore. And honestly, I don't even think we miss each other. Like we're just, we're fine. We've been needing that. I couldn't even sneak a boy in because she would know. Or I wouldn't even be able to talk to a boy because she would know. Ew, I can't believe I actually shared a room with her. I'm going to be the taco lady right now. Can someone serve me, please? Oila, the house didn't come with the maid, mija. No, I'll I'm serve. Not. I'll make the serve of the tacos. Here. Oh. Um, I want the orange chicken thingy. She wants orange chicken. <laughs> A bunch of birthdays coming up, huh? Oh my god, yes. Oh, this is when we start? Birthday season. We have February, me and Eileen. Uh, my birthday is on 18. So I have a plan to ask my dad about Cabo. I think this is a perfect opportunity for me to ask him right now that the whole family's here because maybe he'll, he won't be as mad. We literally just got back from the Amigas trip, so I don't know what or how Ricky's gonna react because, hey, babe, we're leaving again, and it's like, oh my god, we'll see what happens. Since I'm gonna be 18, I wanna do something, like, crazy. Uh, here we go. Her definition of crazy and mine is totally <laughs> two different <laughs> things. Well, I actually wanna go to Mexico. Whoa. I'm done with that. Though. <laughs> oh, let's go to Cabo. Yes, you want to go to Cabo, sister? For my 18th birthday, all I hear is like party, 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 party. And I just want to lay down in the beach and get a tan. That's what I want to do. <laughs> I'm so excited. I want it to be a girl's trip just because we don't need that negative energy 2020. I'm talking about the men. <laughs> Wait, am I going to go with you guys to Cabo? Yeah. Girl's trip is Elena going? Girls, she's a girl. Well, she's a girl. There's a catch. You have to be 18 and over. There's another catch. You're basically legal in Mexico at 18. So you have to be 18, honey. There's another catch. Don't go in my room then. What? <laughs> we can't go in room. Then we can't go in We're not allowed to step in a room. I'm gonna be legal over there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have fun. Mm, Get lit crazy. with the girls. So who are the girls, Eileen? Oh, my tia. My Maluli. Maluli? Mom, Maluli. Is I here? She's 
I can't take your mom though. She's banned from a lot of the clubs up there. <laughs> You, you, right? Yeah. It's gonna be a full on girls trip. <gasps> I'm so excited. Of course I want my family there, but I also picture this trip with a bunch of my friends, all of us just having a good time, getting lit, and yeah, I just want it to be like a memorable birthday, 18th birthday, because I've been waiting for this moment like my entire life. I want to know exactly where in Mexico are we going. So we're thinking Cabo, right? Cabo. Cabo. Nice. Cabo's really cute. Everybody once in their life has to have a girl's trip. And I feel like this is a perfect opportunity for me to have a girl's trip. And then Cabo. I mean, out of all the places that you could possibly think of, I mean, you want to go to Mexico? What happened to like Bullwinkles and Disneyland? What's Disneyland, that? Disneyland <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese. Why specifically Mexico? What's, okay. what's up with that? Basically, when. Oh, I mean, all my friends that I know that turn 18, they go to Mexico because they're like legal there like they're an adult in mexico so you guys wanted to get drunk in mexico no i can oh, get i can why we mexico? can get you into the club here I, my mom's going with the, the fact that you guys the fact that you guys, that. That you oh guys no. No. The no. Bad example. No. no the fact that you guys assume that is like preposterous <laughs> what the f yeah. that's ridiculous yeah. it's going around again and you're still not answering my question um i am but they're interrupting me I want to party for my 18th birthday. Like, if I go to an 18th and over club here, it's like kind of whack. They put a big old X at the club. It's not even and fair. Then, and then you have to sneak in drinks, and then they catch you, throw you out. Not that I, that's ever happened to me. Look at this point. This is 16. I just want to have fun. Where am I gonna go to Kentucky? <laughs> huh? Minnesota. I'm just nervous that he's gonna say no. He always goes along with my ideas and I'm just waiting for the day he tells me no, you know? So I'm like, hopefully today's not the day and he goes along with it and agrees and see what happens. You guys have to be careful though because it's gonna be a bunch of ladies. Bunch of pretty girls. Yeah, obviously, yeah. A bunch of pretty girls on vacation. And you know the stuff that goes on over there. I mean, what, I mean, what are you guys gonna do to, have you thought about like your safety when you guys maybe go out of the resort? Even though Ricky thinks I don't listen to him, I always listen to him. Even if he thinks that it comes through here and exits this way, I still retain something in there. So, you know, I am listening to him. You know what, you can actually get my location. Oh, so you know where I'm at in case you're like, oh my God, where's my wife? Oh my God, I'm worried about her. <laughs> She's at the bar. Oh, I'm worried now. I feel perfectly safe. She's at the bar. I'm not saying not to, I'm just saying you guys gotta be careful though, like keep an eye on each other and make sure that, obviously you know there's gonna be guys that are like, what's up girl? How tall are you? 4'11". Oh, sorry. Bye. He just wants to make sure that we're safe. So I understand, but we'll be safe and we'll make it home in one piece. That's it, nobody's changing our mind. The trip is final. We're going to. We are going to Cabo, and we're gonna have a girl's trip, and a, a girl senora trip. <laughs> Mama trip. Mama le dijo senora. Senorita, tú. Senorita, my mom is single, so. Babe, just know that, that yeah, there's going to be wearing a two-piece on me. One single, uh, one single woman going, and that's my mom. So you guys should be worried about my mom because she's the only single one. Everybody else has her, is in a relationship. We're gonna find her a rich man in Mexico, ma. Worry about the single lady that's going with us. Okay. And it's not just Eileen's 18th birthday, it's also my birthday weekend, so I'm excited. <laughs> like, bye, we're out of here. Okay, so cool. this is my room. Oh my god. Super Ooh, cute, right? Oh, this yeah. is cute. Yeah. Cute. So you your new clothes in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See? So what's your vision for your room, Eileen? I got good lighting, so yeah. I'm not trying to do too much, but I'm like gonna make it simple and cute. Probably like my bed like a body mirror, vanity. I wanted to show my grandma and my tias and my mom just my room and just to kind of like get their feedback. I definitely feel like their opinion is always important in my life, so they could help me out. Probably like a hint of gray. Wait a minute, wait, 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 though. But you're gonna be 18. I thought when you turn 18, you're gonna move out. We wanna move out. Wait, where? out where? Like out of state or out of your house or what? Mm, no, I don't think out, out of state. Just out Dude, if you move out of state, literally we're having a heart attack. Wait. Well, okay, I still want to enjoy the house a little bit. Mm -hmm. So maybe like by the end of next year? Okay, I still want to like enjoy it at least a little bit. That's a good idea. I remember last season I was telling my parents that I really wanted to move out when I turned 18. But 
and it's a new house and it's just like a new vibe. I just want to like enjoy it for a little bit. Ruben's still in the picture? Well, yeah. He is. Hmm. We hadn't talked about this. Este siempre me pregunta, ma, y yo la verdad nunca tengo una respuesta para... A ver, dime tu mamacita. Pues, somos, somos novios. ¿Todavía? Ya. Yeah. Bueno, pues, o sea, sí está bien. Se tienen que conocer más. I know. Pues, tenemos, like, nuestros días, pero... Como todos, mamá. Mm -hmm. Pero está bien así. Aprendes. So what is it that you consider yourself with him? I mean, is it boyfriend and girlfriend? Are you just dating? There's so many things going on the day and day, sister. Like, that's yeah, you and I were exactly. Exactly. I was like, that's, that's my boyfriend. boyfriend. That's, that's it. Boyfriend. That's it. Yeah. yeah. But I know that it's, like, more serious no, if he's your Lady, boyfriend. Ask what her millennial terms are. Like, oh, yeah. Ask her what her, her and her man is. What, what is it? Oh. <laughs> she don't even know. <laughs> like, it's, it's hard to put a label yeah. on it. We're pretty much boyfriend girlfriend. I, Because I feel like if he were to go, like, I don't know, kiss another girl or something, then that would be like him cheating on me. So we're okay. like, that makes sense. Boyfriend and girlfriend. Boyfriend and girlfriend. That means that they're exclusive to each other. Yeah. Cute. I'm not like, oh my gosh, I need to get married right away. Like, that's not my plans. Because mm -hmm. you're so more, young. Yeah, it's more just like being an adult. Since like me and Ruben have been having some issues. I'm wearing this skirt. You like it? Okay, go change. Why? I don't know why you're always giving me a hard time about going out. I feel like my mind has kind of changed in a way like I'm not even like excited to like want to move out with him anymore just because of the way like our attitudes are towards each other right now. It makes me emotional. <laughs> the reason it makes me emotional is because I got married when I was 21. Yeah, and Bunko was, was 19. 19. Oh, 19. 18 years old, yeah. And I'm not saying that it hasn't been a good life. It has. Believe me, God has blessed us in so many ways. But it was fácil. <laughs> Es bien difícil, aunque tengas 23 años, está chiquita. I don't want to see you struggle. We're here to protect you, we're here to guide you. Yeah, even though you're growing up, we still see you as a baby. Oh, like, believe me. Even though, oh, that's the worst. You're that's the worst. She was seen as a baby even after being a mom. She's still seen as a baby. I'm not surprised that we're all getting emotional right now, but they're giving me their advice, like always, which is sometimes it's always refreshing to like hear, you know, what they have to say. But what else are your plans with you and Ruben? Like what? You're telling me you want to move out, but you're not really saying you're well, to move out. Mamá, tú digas todo a su tiempo. Sí, so, pero mamacita, te están preguntando a ti. Tú tienes que pensar lo que va a pasar en un futuro. No nada más tienes que llegar hasta aquí. Tienes que pensar más para allá. Pues, lo que tú quieres, lo que tú visualizas. Tú pues, diles lo que tú piensas. Sí, porque tú me puedes decir a mí, you can tell me, mom, I plan to be here for a year, but anything can happen from here to three months, six months, a year, anything. Pues, okay, like, si estamos, like, Juntos y luego no están en el voto, pues. But that's what I said. Exactly. Okay. But see, that's exactly the thing. She's so young, so she can't say, I'm going to marry Ruben because when yeah, you guys no were young, no, no, puedo. no, no. Like, but I'm saying, when you guys were young, that's all my parents put in your mind. Like, you're going to marry, you're going to marry, you're going to marry. You can be with someone for five years. But that doesn't mean you're gonna marry them. Exactly. Like, like I don't maybe know sometimes, what's like your mentality happen. right now is gonna be different in a year from now. Ya vas a cumplir 18 años, vas a pensar muy diferente. Creo que sí. And like she said, if he's in the picture in a year from now, and a couple weeks from now, and a day from now, then yeah. cool. If he's not, then life goes on. Mm -hmm. Be independent, a bad bitch for life. They don't want to see me struggle. They want me to look at the situation that they were put in and like kind of just reevaluate, like, do I want to like do grown things at such a young age when they would have probably changed the way they did things when they were younger? So I think they're just looking out for me. No me se enseñaron, right? Mm -hmm. Enseñaron como ser una mujer like bad bitch. Mm -hmm. I think that, that I think bad bitch. I want to hear it. Yeah, I'm a mujer fuerte. That. Those are the perfect words. Mm -hmm. It feels good to see that she opens up to like my mom and my sisters because she has been hiding a lot from me. And it's like at the moment, I don't have to ask her questions because other people are asking her, like my sisters or my mom. I like that. I like that she opens up. ¿Qué hasta ahorita qué has aprendido de cada una de nosotras? Pues de tu tía Berta. Pues como ser like. Like, I don't know how to say it. Like, my dear brother's like a really caring person, but if you <laughs> they're like that. <laughs> so, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, just, I don't know. I learned a lot from her. 
pues, no sé. Dile, mamacita, como tú quieras, tienes que decirlo con tus palabras, en inglés o en español, dile lo que ha pasado. Pues ella me enseña como, like, hacer que, like, una persona que yo quiero ser, like, yeah, like, ella no, like, me juzga o nada, so. You know, you need that, that person in your life, whether it's your best friend or your boyfriend or your family member. You just need someone that is there for you and no matter what will judge you for the decisions that you decide to make in life. And she's that like that person to me. Okay, you me? Well, no, todo. No. Yo te quiero mucho, Yo quiero que seas una niña buena. Yo hago todo por ti también. Te quiero mucho. I think it's such a beautiful moment that every time I see her, like open up and hug my mom and my mom just gives her that extra motherly advice and that feeling that she knows she's safe with us. Maluli is having a birthday in a couple days. So, ah, we're gonna say happy birthday, birthday to you. Today we're also celebrating my mom's birthday. And um, yeah, we're gonna surprise her with a birthday cake and a special gift. My mom was very surprised. She thought it was just like a family reunion and just to come and see the house, but she wasn't expecting us to celebrate her with a birthday cake and, you know, she wasn't expecting anything at all. I think she just loves to see all her kids together and all her grandkids and everybody just making her feel so special. Feliz cumpleaños. Las dos cosas más importantes el día de hoy son felicitar, felicitarte de todo corazón y pedirle a Dios que te bendiga plenamente, que disfrutas tu día. Gracias, jefita. La queremos mucho. Felicidades en este día y que Diosito la cuide para siempre. Gracias. La familia es paz. I'm excited just to make memories in this home and be able to like call it ours. It was fun having everybody over. I'm very excited to continue making memories in our new home. So how you been? <sighs> Honestly, not, not so great, you know? Like, I'm just in a weird mind state right now. I went up to Eileen, I gave her a big hug, and I started crying to her. I was telling her, dude, I don't need fake friends in my life. All I need is you and my family. Without my sister, I don't know where I would be right now. For more quince content, make sure to check out Awesomeness TV's new quinceanera channel. Click here to watch my new season.